Okay, so now we should start with our first method called the counting rate of return. Now, as I discussed earlier, accounting rate of return is an accounting measure and we should remember that the return measure used over here should be profit. What the ARR does is it shows you the return on an investment. So it essentially compares what's your average return on investment and that return will be measured in the terms of your profit. So how would you calculate your ARR? We can say ARR can be calculated like this average profit. So we'll take the average profit over the lifespan of that investment upon average investment. Now what I mean by average investment, I'll just discuss that very soon in 200. So this is simply return on investment. You're comparing your profit over your investment in 200 and that gives you the percentage return on investment the firm will get if it goes ahead and invests in this project. All right, so it's simply measuring the return on investment. Now, if the return on investment is available, you can always compare it to comparable investments or alternative investments available. Okay, so now what do we mean by average investment? So when I talk about average investment, we are looking at the average value of the investment made. So average investment can be calculated like this initial investment plus crap upon two. Now, where does this come from? So let's say if you buy a machinery for 400,000 at time period zero, right? So I can say this is your time period zero. Now let's say if you'll use it and after your usage, the value of the machinery, you can sell it or the scrap value becomes 100,000 over here, right? Now, what will be your average investment? So your average investment will be the middle value. How do you find the mid value of anything? We have learned this mid value will be beginning value plus ending value upon two. That should give you the middle value, which becomes your average investment. So in this case, your average investment should be, if we look at this, 400,000, that's your initial investment, scrap is 100,000, that's the value of the machine at the end of its life upon two, which should give you $250,000. That's the mid value of the machine. And that will be called average investment for the perspective of ARR. So whenever you are supposed to calculate ARR, find the mid value or average value using this equation, initial investment plus crap upon two. Okay. Now, Let's also discuss the advantages of ARR. We can say ARR is fairly easy to calculate. It's an easy measure because it measures the return on investment, something then uh, everyone can comprehend. You can compare it with present profitability. The measure is in terms of profit, something that is also preferred by accounting usage that the return has been calculated in profit terms. And it is also considering the aggregate earnings of the project. We've taken the lifetime earnings in this case. But if we also talk about the disadvantages of ARR, ARR does not consider the time value of money. This will be a concept that will be prevalent in the, in the finance measures that we look at, particularly net present value IRR, and it does not recognize the timings of the cash flow. So see, this measure is just dealing with profits. It's not looking at cash flows, the timings of the cash flow, the time value of money, something that financial managers would particularly emphasize on, right? So you guys should also know the advantages and disadvantages of using ARR method. Okay. Now, since we've learned this, let's apply this to our previous example. Let's learn how to calculate the ARR so that we can understand the concept much better. So let me take you back to this question. If you guys recall, we just did this question over here where we learned using for this machine, how to calculate profit and net cash flow. We knew our depreciation figure. We have our cost 200,000. That's the life and the scrap value. And for this, we calculated our profits to be this. I'm not looking at net cash flows because ARR does not need net cash flows. We will need net cash flow for payback and other methods. But for this question, we'll just focus on our profit. Now, these are the lifetime profits, 40,000, 25,000, 35,000 and 25,000 for year four. We just calculated this. Okay. Now using these lifetime earnings, let's do this first. Let's first calculate average profit. I've done this over here. Now, how do you find the average profit over the lifetime? You just add all the profits up, 
divided by the number of periods. So over here I had four periods. So if you add this and divide it by four, you should arrive at 31,250. That's the average profit over the lifetime earnings in this example. So yeah, that's how we calculate our average profit. So whenever you want to calculate average profit, just add the profits up and divide it by the number of years. Now, what about average investment? What should we do about that? So we can say the cost of the machine was 200,000 at the start. The ending value of the machine or the scrap value was 20,000. We need to find the mid value. So beginning plus ending value upon two, so the mid value or the average investment becomes 110,000. That's your average investment. See, you have to understand this. If you're taking average profit, you also have to take average investment. We cannot take the starting value. We have to take the average investment in this case. So now we have our average profit. We have our average investment. All we have to do is now just simply calculate our ARR. That's over here, 31,250 upon 110,000 into 100, that is 28.41% is your ARR. What does this number mean? It means that for every dollar invested, this project yields a 28.4% return on investment. And remember this return on investment is in profit terms. So when you have this number, now you can decide whether to buy this machine, you will compare it to other alternative machines available. So let's say if you have an alternative machine that gives you an ARR less than 28.41%, then you will obviously go ahead and invest in this project because it gives you a higher return. We would prefer a higher return, but let's say if the alternative investment yields a return greater than 28.41%, you will not accept this project. All right, so ARR allows you to compare the machine or the investments return on investment with other alternatives available. Hey there, if you like what you saw right now, head over to altacademy.org for access to content around six subjects with past papers, videos, revision guides, flashcards, and academic support. All of this is gonna make sure that you're completely set for your A-levels. So I'll see you there on the platform.